Good morning and happy Monday. Welcome back to my home. I missed you all last week and I can't wait to hear about all the great things you did while we were away from one another. First up though, let's get started telling the world how powerful you are. Brooke Creed, get ready. I am a Brooke Scholar. I have the power to determine who I am, who I will become, and what I do in life. I will stay focused on achieving excellence. I will make smart choices because I respect myself, my teammates, and my community. Today is a step on our path towards success. Oh, it's so good to be back and seeing all your beautiful faces. I can't wait to hear what you were up to while we didn't see each other for morning motivation. What was the best part of the last week when we didn't come together for morning motivation while you all were on break? Send me a picture or a video telling me what you enjoy doing with your family. I can't wait to hear. During my April break, I was here with Tamika, Hector, Helena, Hubert. You can see them all hanging out, wanting to say hello to you all. Stinky and Finn were around. And of course, I got to be with my whole family. I enjoyed seeing and spending time with them as always. And I'm so excited to have you back here today. This entire week, we're gonna be focusing on the core value of self-determination. Self-determination is one of the most important core values because when we show self-determination, we empower ourselves. We get more and more powerful. And so this week, I can't wait to see who rocks our challenge. But first up, it's time for some shout Today, I get to shout out some excellent things that you all did while we were away last week. I'm gonna shout out a team from kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. But all week this week, I'm gonna be shouting out the exceptional things some of you achievers did while we were away to show self-determination. Today, my first shout out comes from Ms. Pearson because she noticed two scholars logged in and did every single one of their assignments on Freckle, even when it was April break. She wants to shout out Malia and Markel. They logged on to Freckle and it completed not some, not most, but all of their Freckle assignments every single day last week. Say way to go, Eves. Next up, heading to first grade because Miss Doherty wants to recognize the effort that UT Austin scholars showed last week. Mrs. Lee and Miss Doherty noticed that 80% of the UT Austin scholars logged on to Freckle even when they didn't have to during April break. That shows a lot of self-determination, don't you think? They also want to recognize some scholars who logged in, didn't just do some, but logged in for at least an hour during break. Those scholars were Kalisha, Zanaya, Luvenna, Edward, Jason, Winnie, Rickinson. Way to go, UT Austin. I can't wait to see what you all are up to this week. Last but not least, on to second grade because Mick Skidmore has a shout out for Justin and Dustin because both of those scholars logged on to Epic, a new website they're using to read some awesome books, and they spent April break reading and growing their brain. Say way to go, brothers! Mick Skidmore also wants to recognize the effort of the Wheelock College Scholars. We know how hard they worked because they earned Hubert and the second grade golden trophy just last week. They didn't want to give that up. So 82% of scholars were logging into Freckle nearly every day while we were away. 
That's 18 scholars. That shows that Wheelock College scholars have a ton of self-determination. Even when they didn't have to log under Freckle, they use that as an opportunity to grow their brains and get better every day. Say way to go, Wheelock. All right. Now that we've heard about the amazing things some of your teammates did to show self-determination while we were away during April break, I want to talk about our challenge for this week. If you do three special things, it will show that you have power, not only to grow your brain, but to be in charge of your own education. If you're ready to hear the challenge, say, oh yeah. Okay, first part of my challenge is one, log under Freckle each and every day and complete the assignments that your teacher created just for you. If you're finished those assignments, you have the opportunity to continue on Freckle growing your brains and adding money into your piggy bank account to do all the things that you love to do on Freckle. Each coin you earn shows that you've grown your brain a little bit more. So I love seeing those piggy banks get stocked full with coins. If you're going to do that, say, of course. Can't wait. The second thing I want you to do this week is to make sure that every single conference you're in this week with your teacher or your teammates, you're working hard to show your focus. Your what? That's right. You want to show that you are an achiever just like you do at Brooke Mattapan. I know you sit up straight and tall, you track the speaker, you work hard to show your work, you use strategies. This week in your conferences with your teacher, I know you're going to do just that. Say, of course. Yeah. The third thing we're going to do this week to show your self-determination is to make sure you're watching the YouTube videos like this one that your teachers created for you and doing all the work alongside your teachers. Our second grade leaders, I see you all, are going to try out something new called Nearpod. I can't wait to hear what you all think from that. But even if you're in kinder, first or second grade this week, your job is to watch every single one of the videos in order to grow your brain and prove that you show self-determination. Say, got it! On Friday, Tamika and I will announce the winners of our leadership trophies. It will go to teams, just like last week's teams, who showed those three things. Freckle work, conference engagement, and YouTube video engagement. If you show all three of those things, and so do all your teammates, you will earn the leadership trophy. I cannot wait to see which teams have got it. I know Union, BU, and Wheelock are really proud of themselves from last week's win. I can't wait to see who gets it this week. All right, scholars, I want you to get right into your work on your teacher's YouTube videos and Freckle. So we're gonna now end with a little celebration of your self-determination. I wanna see you moving and grooving, getting your brain ready, getting some energy to that beautiful brain of yours, and listening to these words. I'm gonna do some moves, but I wanna see yours. Got it? Say, hit it!
Oh yeah. Hey, hey, I wanna work hard, wanna work hard today. Come on, scholars. Put my best to the test. Nothing's gonna get in my way. If you're going to show self-determination, let me see that beautiful smile of yours. All right, Scholar, come with me. Ready? All set. You bet. Ready? We're leaders. Brooke, Matt, a pan. We'll prove we're achievers. Have an awesome day, achievers. I can't wait to see your self-determination as you rise to the challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye, Scholars.